1985, 40 years ago, we got Microsoft Excel. And I wanna celebrate Excel in this video. Let's start by reminiscing what was the world like in 1985? Times Square, it was a whole different place. It was not all the glamor and tourists walking around, no, no, no. You didn't go to Times Square unless you had a really good reason because there was debauchery, crime, mayhem, things you might see that will haunt you the rest of your days. 1985, I could ride the train about 20 miles and go into Chicago Saturday, Sunday afternoon and watch three old black exploitation movies, Kung Fu movies, matinee, $2. And for an extra $3, I could get a old wrinkly hot dog on a stale bun and a chilled cup of Pepsi Cola with ice from the Chicago River. Might have fish scales and algae in it. We didn't even have the internet in 1985. Not yet. We started to see vestiges of it in 1988. But remember bulletin boards? Prodigy, dial-up service, Netscape. A lot of that stuff is dead. Lotus one, two, three, word perfect. Cold bones in long forgotten graves. But we've had Excel through all of that helping us work with our data, get what we need from our data with the low barrier to entry where regular people are empowered to work with data. But what else have we had? We've had a 40 year parade of snake oil salesmen, slimy marketers, malcontents, ne'er-de-wells claiming to have killed Excel. I have the Excel killer finally. Click on this button, load all your information in, come behind this paywall, sign up for this workshop online where I'm gonna show you the bloody knife in Excel's dead body. But what happens? You go through all of that and it's something akin to Geraldo Rivera, 1986, opening Al Capone's vault. And what was in it? Dirt and an old soda bottle. So what do we learn over 40 years? The next time somebody says they've got the Excel killer we nod and say, okay, Geraldo. I was asked to show you something that's a favorite of mine in Excel. Let's do that. Here, I'm gonna take a sip of some Uncle Nearest bourbon. Yeah, celebration. This is what you do on 40th birthday. We've got this data. We got parent one and parent two. We've got their children and the children's ages. May and Cole have Enid, Max and Evan and we can see that Evan is 17 years old. Pippin and Jason have Dora and Flora must be twins. They're both 16 and their names rhyme. Well, you know, they probably are twins. What we want is to be able to sort the children's names are their ages. We want to be able to filter and maybe we only want to look at the people who are 13 and above. Maybe we want to sort by the age, find out the max age, the minimum age. There's so much data that we can get from this, but it's not set up. We can take this into my favorite tool in Excel. 
power query. Something that the snake oil salesmen and malcontents don't have. I'm not gonna go through all of this, but I'm gonna show you what I did. Okay, so the first thing we do with this raw data, right click and then get data from table slash range. But you see over here, I have already done the work. I'm gonna go over here, this query I call children split, because what I decided was if I can split these names apart and the ages apart, that's ultimately what I want, but I did it in two separate steps. Children split, ages split. Go over here, children split, double click on this query. Let's look at the beautiful thing over here. All right, the source data, split column by delimiter. Let's look at what I did. I split the children column by the comma space at each occurrence of the delimiter split into rows, okay. And there we have it, the rows of names for the children. We've got the parents, Marsha, Marsha, Henry, Henry, Frank, Myra. Okay, but now we gotta split the ages out. But first, in anticipation of doing one of my favorite things, an outer join, I have an index column so that once I have the ages split query, I can put these together side by side. So row four is James, the single parent, who's the parent of Nina and Lawrence. Let's look at the ages split query. Source, split column by delimiter, and in this case, I split the ages. Add an index column, and you go over here, here's how you do the add index column and you get the choice to start it from zero or one. Good. Now what I call the flattened query, the source is a left outer join that is being joined by the index columns. Okay. And then I go over and I expand this column, right? Expand. Then I start clearing the junk that I don't need out of the way. Then I reorder the column and remove some more junk. And here we go. Look at that. We didn't need the index column anymore. We didn't need the duplicate columns of the parents. So now we can see Marsha, Henry, Frank, that child Frank is 10 years old. Myra is 15 years old. So this is exactly what I wanted. But Power Query is that gift that keeps on giving. I'm gonna go back to my source data. Scroll down. Here is some more data. Bring this into the table. And now, Power Query has a lot of cool stuff in it. But here is really what is the truth. The truth is in the data tab, refresh. Forty nine rows of data. Go back to flatten. The new data is here. Let's go back, look at the source. See, Sydney has a child named Lance who's 12 years old. Let's go over here. Sydney Lance, 12 years old. Power Query in Excel. Happy 40th. 